A live look from Fort Worth to Frisco as light thunderstorms start moving through the area. And while we need the rain, we are expecting to see a lot of it. So much so that in less than two hours at 7 a.m., a flash flood watch is going to go into effect. Brittany is tracking the storms for us this morning. So right now, the heavy stuff isn't here yet, though, is it yet, Brittany? No, the heaviest stuff for us is going to arrive closer to 3 to 5 p.m. and then continue right through the overnight hours into early Thursday morning. So we do have that flood watch in effect for all of North Texas. It starts at 7 a.m. this morning and then runs into until 7 p.m. on Thursday because we are looking at widespread rainfall totals of 2 to 5 inches. Right now, we're just very overcast. We're incredibly muggy and we have very windy conditions with a couple of scattered showers. But this is the front that's going to be moving into North Texas later on today, and that's going to be the focus for a lot of the rain. We are seeing thunderstorms developing along that front right now, but they are weakening as they shift off to the east. So a lot of that activity is going to break up before it actually reaches the Metroplex a little bit later on this morning. So right now we just have some quick moving showers. This is headed up towards the Clarksville area and then also Greenville. You guys are starting to dry out a little bit with a few more showers back down to the southwest around Brownwood. That's going to shift up towards Comanche and Mullen. You guys are going to see some of that rain as well. So you may be wondering, why are we looking at such heavy rainfall? So we've had these southerly winds for the past couple of days, drying in a lot of Gulf moisture. That's already boosted our dew points into the 70s. But we also have Pamela that is sitting off of the Mexico coastline, and that is going to be working its way over Mexico, and that's also going to be bringing us a lot of Pacific moisture, increasing our heavy rainfall over the next 48 hours. So here's what we're looking at today through the morning hours, just some scattered showers. Once we get to noon, that's when we're looking at that rain starting to fill in a bit more. And then especially around three to five o'clock, we'll see more showers in the area really picking up into the evening hours. And that's when that flash flood threat is going to start to go up because we will have already seen a couple of hours of some pretty heavy rainfall in the same locations. But by tomorrow morning, still some lingering showers. That's going to clear off to the east by Thursday afternoon with just an isolated shower still ongoing around 2 to 5 o'clock and then things really improve on Friday. But as far as rainfall goes, we are going to see a pretty narrow band of rainfall totals about three to five inches. And this could shift a little bit further north, a little bit further south. But right now, it looks like it's going to be right through about McKinney, Fort Worth, Cleburne, and down to the Hillsboro area. So that's going to be our most favored window of seeing some of that flash flooding later on tonight. Our winds, as Madison mentioned, they are very breezy out of the south, even gusting closer to 30 miles an hour. Those winds are going to stay strong throughout the rest of our day today, and then we're still looking at the breezy conditions tomorrow. But the winds have helped to keep our temperatures up, so we have a mild start. We're sitting in the upper 70s. It feels very muggy because our dew points are also sitting in the 70s, and our temperatures will be climbing back into the lower 80s this afternoon. So we're going for about a high of around 82, about 2 to 4 o'clock, and then that heavy rain really starts to move back into the area. And a bulk of the rain that we're going to see Thursday is going to be before 10 a.m. Then we'll see drier conditions towards the afternoon hours. Over the weekend, though, things are really going to get a lot better, feeling more like fall. That cooler and drier air returns to the region, so we're looking at low to mid 70s Saturday and Sunday. Our mornings are also going to be feeling great, right around 50 degrees 